If you ain't got nobody, do it, but then do it for yourself. Do it, do it for yourself. Do it, do it for yourself. And when they start hating on you, tell them thank you for the help. Thank you, thank you for the help. Thank you, thank you for the help. If you ain't got nobody, do it, but then do it for yourself. Do it, do it for yourself. Do it, do it for yourself. And when they start hating on you, tell them thank you for the help. Thank you, thank you for the help. Thank you, thank you for the help. What's going on guys welcome back to the channel man today's video we're gonna begin i'm gonna begin y'all an update on the silverado man like i said in my last video i feel like i need to catch everybody back up to date to the plans and what's in works and what's going on now because it like i said it have been at least a month or so since i really uploaded but if y'all interested and hearing the new build plan for the truck last time y'all heard the truck for real i had just installed the amp i had just installed the amp on the door speaker and it wasn't really tuned for real i got on close as hell to where they where they happy at guys and let me tell you this it it screams it really screams so i gotta i gotta let y'all hear that man but if you haven't go on make sure you like comment share subscribe Click that notification bell, man. Like I said, the content about to start back going crazy, man. I'm get back in my groove. And uh yeah, let's get into it, man. First, we're gonna start off with the front of the truck, man. This is something that's been bothering me for a while. All that chrome right here, man. All that chrome. Granted, when I first got the truck, the grill and everything was chrome. I blacked it out. You know, it's time to hit it with another coat. But I ain't too much concerned about it because I'm gonna get another grill for it. I'm gonna get me some gloss black vinyl wrap. And I'm gonna wrap that, man. Because, I mean, Lord beautiful truck don't get me wrong but what i'm trying to do i'm not trying to eliminate all the chrome but stuff like that that just come on guy that did too much for me personally now when it comes to the wheel i am on the fence um i don't know if i want to keep the 22 by 12 and just put take the 33s off and put the 35s on it um or go 24 by 12 on 35 but of course to fit bigger wheels, you're gonna need a bigger lift because y'all can tell. Y'all see that little lip hanging out right there? I'm already scrubbing right there. Not so much in the front, but I am scrubbing, man. And I mean, of course, I could do a little more modifying to probably stop it from doing that, but I'm not about to beat, up, beat on my damn truck like that. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. So I was thinking a six and a half inch zone lift is already in the cart. Uh, my truck came with tent, and y'all can see the shit peeling now. So I can, I'm gonna have to get the front windows retinted. And when I do that, I'm gonna go and probably get my front windshield tinted. Not gonna go stupid, crazy, illegal with it, but it's gonna have a shade of tint on the windshield. You know, um, and I, I mean, that's basically it for the exterior of the truck. So we're gonna go on the inside. On the inside of the truck, y'all know I got the custom speaker part with the six and a half and the eight inch uh, mid-range DS18. But y'all also know that I got a hole in these two from installing them. Y'all can see the eight inch actually starting to split from me playing it. So I'm gonna replace those, not 100% sure if I'm gonna get the same speakers back or go with a different brand or just go with a mid-bass. 
Um, I know PRV got some mid bass. I think the frequency range is from like 90, 90 hertz all the way up to like 10,000 hertz. So you'll get a good range of sound coming out of those instead of these because these have no type of low end whatsoever. In the back, y'all can see the speaker box and the eights are gone. Bonito. They're gone. Okay, I got a box on the way for four American Base BFL 8s. I still had the other two. I took them out because, uh, of course, I got rid of the box. I mean, I ain't going to just leave them sitting on the seat. Guys, yeah, come on now. I can't do that. But uh, on a serious note, I'm going to order two more of them 8s. Uh, and they're really self-explanatory. I'm going to try to double the output by doubling the sub. Got the OG Pioneer back there. They're holding it down, doing their job. No complaints about it, but I am gonna change amps because the VFL eights are 600 watts RMS a piece. So with all four of them, they're 2,400 watts they can handle. And you know, on clean power, they can probably take 3,000 easy on clean power. Like I said, with those two eights, I traveled all the way from Alabama to Memphis, which is like a five and a half hour trip when I was going to CDL school. And I gave them thing pure hell the entire ride never smelt them never heard them bought them out they only got one so i mean I, i'm loving them. no speakers in my rear door neither one of my rear doors i took those speakers out so ain't nothing in those i'm gonna order some um custom door parts for the rear for both the rear doors and on custom speaker part they also have the parts for um damn i'm gonna drop the camera they also have the part for parts for the a pillar i'm gonna get some of those as well so the truck gonna be very loud, gonna be like I've been told y'all gonna be a sound quality bill, but you definitely gonna still be able to hear me from down the road with those four eights. As y'all can see, I'm sweating my ass off. It's hot as shit out here. But um what I'm about to do now, man, I'm about to play on um, some of that Hardaway OG and that Crib Parker. Um give y'all an up to date on what it sound like now being that I've been messing with the tune and fine tuning it. Let y'all hear how crystal clear and loud it is now. Y'all gonna smash a like on the video now. I mean, it's gonna get very loud out here. Listen how quiet it is out here. Yeah, the neighbors ain't gonna like me for a couple minutes. But it is what it is, man. I'm gonna give y'all a quick one right here. I promise y'all, this bitch screaming. You gotta hear it in person. Let's get it. Okay, they have my EQ side uh, uh, on my head unit. And like I said, the only reason why I got the highs up on the head unit is because my highs, my tweeters, and the ones down there, they all running off the head unit. So I turned those up on the head unit. So that's the reason why I like that. But everything else is flat. All right, guys, we're about to get into this all a little quick. Then I'm going to let y'all hear what the sound like now that I got it tuned a little better than what it was. Um... Hope y'all enjoy it, man. We're going to be playing that Chris Parker, oh, and we're going to be playing some Hardaway OG. Try to do this quick, because it's very quiet out here, but not for long. Let's get it. You don't give but one life to live out here in this world, man. You got to turn the phone you up. Right now, you gonna do it. If you don't do it for nobody else, make sure you do it for yourself. Yeah. If you ain't got nobody to do it, fuck it, do it for yourself. Do it, do it for yourself. Do it, do it for yourself. And when they start hating on your table, thank you, 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 thank you,
This bitch loud, y'all. I feel bad for the neighborhood. This might be the only song, y'all. This bitch super loud. Like I say, the phone ain't gonna do no goddamn justice, but ooh, Lord, this bitch screaming. All right, we gonna risk it for the biscuit, guys. We'll give y'all one more fight in the video. Hardaway OG, it don't fade me. <laughs> Make sure my phone turned up. My phone turned up. Here we go, guys. Chris. Pray for me. Cause this bitch is loud, y'all. This bitch loud. Let go. Like I said, I'm gonna turn it down, y'all. I don't want the police to come out here. Quiet as hell out here. Let's get it. All right, guys. Whew. Uh, I hope that video did it some sort, some kind of justice, man. But like I said, it's super quiet out here. I'm definitely gonna have to find another uh, spot to demo because the, the custom speaker part and the DS18s on that little Sony 4 channel, man. Oh my God, man. I told y'all, I got that thing close to where them speakers really like it. They loud, clear, and crisp as hell. I probably just gonna get, replace the DS18 because I ain't gonna count. Them bitches doing their job, as y'all can see. I probably just replace them instead of getting another brand, but this is, this is gonna conclude the video, man. A little update on the uh, Silverado, man. Like I say, everything is a work in progress, but y'all can see, even behind the scenes when I ain't no upload content, I'm steady tweaking and tuning and playing with my system you know what i'm saying i'm trying to figure my system out and that's the best way to be sometimes you have to get out there and play with your adjustments on your amplifier um if you run the equalizer and on uh, the head unit but